Hello everyone, welcome back to Physics Forum. So today I am going to discuss problem based on center of mass calculation. So the problem goes like this. Uh, we have a quarter circular ring and we are supposed to calculate center of mass of this continuous system. right? So the first thing we are supposed to do, we have to first de define our coordinate system. right? So let's pick our axis like this. So this is my x-axis, this is my y-axis and the quarter circular ring is lying like this, right? Now, first we uh, try to find out where exactly center of mass might be lying, right? And for that, we need to understand the symmetry. So what is that? So let's say had it been a complete, had it been a complete circular figure, the center of mass of this particular system would have been lying over here at its geometrical center, right? Now, if I remove half of the part from here, we can expect center of mass to be shifting along this direction, right? Now, again, if I remove this part also, we can expect center of mass to be shifting in x direction. So we can expect center of mass to be lying somewhere here, right? And as it's a symmetrical case, so whatever the you know location of center of mass along x-axis, the same location will be along y-axis as well, right? So we are supposed to calculate center of mass along a particular axis, either along x-axis or along y-axis. We have the same method. So using that, now how to approach over the problem, right? So the first thing we are uh, we, we need to understand that the mass is distributed over a length, right? So what kind of density we are supposed to take? Of course, it has to be linear mass density, right? Because mass is distributed over a linear profile of the body. So linear mass density has to be considered, right? So first we define it's a linear mass density. So that would be m is entire mass of the ring divided by 2 pi r, which is the entire circumference of this the circle and divided by 4. Because it's a quarter circle, so this would be divided by 4. So this comes to be 2m by pi r, right? Now, as mass is distributed here angularly, so we can expect element, we will take the element at an angle of theta, right? And this element, this, this differential element, right? Let's say the length of this one is dl, and this will subtend an angle of b theta over here, right? So obviously, as we know that theta is equal to l by r, so d theta would be dl by r. So dl comes to be r d theta, right? Now what will be the mass of this differential element, that is dm? So dm will be of course lambda, which is basically mass per its length into dm, this differential length. So this comes to be lambda into r d theta, right? So now that we have defined dm, right? And of course, uh, the center of mass, if we calculate center of mass along y-axis, so of course this element, uh, this uh, element is lying at a height of r sin theta above x-axis. So now coming to the definition of center of mass along y-axis, we can write down y center of mass of differential mass into differential mass by integral of differential mass, right? So y cm of dm, this is what? This is r sin theta. So this is r sin theta and dm we have already defined. This is lambda r d theta. And if we integrate this entire mass, this will come to be m. So we put together all this constant term. So lambda r square by m. And this is sin theta d theta, right? So how do we are supposed to take limits? So the first element uh, will be formed at an angle of theta is equal to zero right here 
and this is located the first element is located at theta is equal to 0 and the last element will be located at theta is equal to pi by 2 so we can integrate it between 0 to pi by 2 right now this is lambda r square by m and this is minus cos theta 0 to pi by 2 right now this comes to be uh, definitely 1 now putting the value of lambda over here so 2m by pi r into r square r square by m into 1 right so this comes to be 2r by pi right so in the same way we, we can also calculate center of mass along x axis also there will just one change in that case that if we can be if you wish to calculate xcm then in that case here will be xcm of pm into dm by the definition of center of mass for continuous body and integral of dm here xcm would be how much this would be r cos theta right x coordinate of this differential element so this comes to be r cos theta and again dm is lambda rd theta and divided by to total mass again lambda r square by m and cos theta d theta and if we integrate it again we will get the same result 2r by so so the final answer is that xcm ycm will be lying at a distance 2r by pi 2r by pi from origin along x axis and y axis right so it is this is definitely lying somewhere here in in this quadrant first quadrant only right so this is how we calculate center of mass for quarter circular i hope you like my video if you like my video please subscribe my channel and also hit the bell icon so that you are notified for every upcoming upcoming videos of mine thanks thank you for watching thank you so much